Yo, what is going on everybody? It's the Hand Tree Gamer. Hope you have a fantastic day. Welcome back to another Madden video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best ways to make coins in Madden 21 Ultimate Team. Hope you guys are having a great Christmas break. Merry Christmas Eve. Eve. <laughs> but if you guys do enjoy this video, if this video does help you out, please do like and comment because it does help me get discovered more on YouTube. And if you guys are new, please do subscribe and press the bell. So that way you guys can notified whenever I upload and it would also help out the channel a lot. And there will also be timestamps down below in the comment section. It should be the pinned comments. That way you guys can skip right to a method if you guys don't like a method or if you guys have already heard of it. For example, if you guys are like on method number two, but you guys have already heard of it, or if you guys don't like it, then you guys can go down into the comment section. Like I said, it should be the pinned comment and click on the timestamp next to method number three and skip right to method number three. So with the first method, we're gonna go over a few ways you guys can make coins with the Zero Chill promo. So the best way you guys are probably gonna be able to make coins will be on Christmas Day. So on Christmas Day, the whole market will completely crash and you'll be able to make tons of coins from it. Because what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to invest in the players, hold on to them for a few days and then sell them later on and make an easy profit because everybody's Christmas presents will be opening on Christmas Day. So I'm, I don't know when they're open. I'm guessing they're gonna open at like 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. That's when I think they'll open. So if they do open at 10.30, 30 a.m. Eastern Time, then I recommend you guys wait till 10:45 Eastern Time. Give them 15 minutes to open up their presents, and then start try to start trying to snipe these players on the auction house for a cheap price. Hold on to them for a few days, and then sell them later. Now, if you have any presents opening at this time, do not sell anybody you pull from your presents until I would say Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday this upcoming week will probably be the best time to sell them. So wait until Wednesday or Thursday to sell anybody you have because Christmas Day is definitely not a good time to sell them. So if we go to quality and we go to 8889, I have no idea what's going to be in the presents. I'm guessing it's going to be like Team of the Week, Series Redux, this is the Zero Chill. So if we look at Zero Chill, right? Zero Chill, right now these Zero Chill players are going about 42,000 coins, right? And if they come out on the presents, like if people pull these from the presents, a lot of people are going to be getting these Zero, zero Chill players. So these 89 overall Zero Chill players, because of how many of them are going to be on the auction house, they'll probably crash to I would say probably about 25 to 30k. So if you guys can invest in them for about 25k per, wait a few days until they go back up to 35k, you'll be able to make 10,000 coins per investment. So just wait on Christmas day, invest in players. Like it's not just gonna be zero chill players. I'm guessing they'll also put series reduxes in the presents. So series redux will also go down because people will be pulling these series reduxes from their presents. It's probably team the week, team standouts. I have no idea what's gonna be. It's probably a whole mix of players and just invest in whatever's in those presents. Wait a few days and then resell them. You're pretty much just flipping cards. You're buying a card when the market crashes, waiting a few days, I'd like said on the upcoming Wednesday or Thursday, and then resell them. Just make sure you sell them before the next next series so series uh five i think series four i think it's series four actually uh pardon me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure it's series four so when series four comes out i'm guessing it'll be coming out the week after christmas so the friday after christmas or maybe the friday after that make sure you guys sell them before the next series update like i said i recommend you sell them wednesday or thursday so once again invest in players on christmas day and wait a few days to sell them and obviously you guys want to make sure you guys reach tier 20 of the chill factors so that way you guys can get up to five free 93 overalls which is absolutely insane this is one of the most free to play promos i've ever seen so make sure you guys do all of your christmas challenges so that way you guys can level up your chill factor even faster you guys can get chill factor level up collectibles by doing these challenges you guys can get 10 by simply doing 20 daily objective lists and then you guys can get the rest by doing the zero chill challenges not very hard at all but what i want to talk about is how to make coins from these so if you look at the chill factor rewards you look at tier 5 right you get a um, choice of nat 93 overall zero chill player tier 10 you get a nat 84 to 93 overall out of position player you guys were able to make coins with both of those packs because you guys were able to choose one of those players from the pack and then complete a set with that player so when tier 15 comes out you guys are going to be able to make coins for tier 15 so at tier 15 you guys see a nat 92 to 94 overall ghost of madden player it doesn't look like it's going to give you guys a choice it looks like it's going to be a random player uh, it doesn't say choice of because as you guys see tier 5 and tier 10 says choice of tier 15 it does not say choice of so it looks like i'm guessing that's going to be random but with whoever you guys pull you guys will be able to make coins from it so if you guys look at chill factor rewards you guys won't be able to get that reward until christmas so on christmas you guys will be able to get to tier 15 or you guys can already re reach tier 15 but on christmas we'll actually get the tier 15 reward so if we look at zero chill and ghost of madden so let's say you guys reach tier 15 and you pull a 92 overall juju smith schuster 
which goes for about 124k obviously it's going to be a nat player so you guys aren't going to be able to sell it but what you guys can do is you guys can put them into this calvin ridley set you guys can put juju smith schuster into this calvin ridley set so that will save you guys 120k on the set and then all you need to do is buy the rest of the players so it would only cost you 60 times uh two is 120 and then deandre swift times four which is about 35 so about 140 so it'd be about 120 plus 140 is about 260k so it only costs about 260k to do the set because you guys would get juju smith schuster for free from doing the uh from reaching to tier 15 so that's how you guys would make coins from reaching tier 15 when christmas comes out whoever you pull from the nat 92 to 94 overall ghost of man player put them into the set and then buy whatever else you need to finish the set and then finish the set and sell whoever you get and make an easy profit because as you guys see once you finish the set you guys will get 94 ball calvin ridley his power up and you guys will get all three of these players back as nats so it's going to be some easy profit this is the only set in the game right now i'm guessing they'll add more sets probably on wednesday and on friday i'm currently recording this video on tuesday i will be uploading this on wednesday so i'm not sure if they're going to add another set by the time you guys are watching this video but this is the only set as of right now i'm guessing they'll add more so like i said if you pull 92 overall juju smith schuster buy whoever is left else in the set finish the set and sell whoever you guys get from the set easy profit so now let's talk about these reroll packs so these reroll packs i don't recommend you guys open these reroll packs these packs are way too risky obviously if you guys are feeling risky you guys can open up these packs do them at your own risk but there's no like the reason why these packs are so risky is because there's no set that can minimize your losses and maximize your gains all you can do is open up these packs and then resell whoever you guys get there's no set that can minimize however you lose or maximize how much you gain you just open up these packs and then sell whoever you guys get hope you guys get lucky i have seen people make a lot of profit from this and i have I've seen people lose a lot of coins so if you want to go for it but if you have a lot of snow and you just want to get the maximum i recommend just open up this 93 overall zero chill hero fantasy pack and just sell whoever you guys get there because this is just guaranteed profit i don't recommend you guys do these get these reroll packs unless you guys are feeling risky obviously obviously random present is also risky and all of these presents are also risky too and you guys can get yourself a 93 overall for only 60,000 coins so what you need is you need to buy the snow beast fantasy pack for 400 snow and buy four food beast collectibles to upgrade that snow beast and you guys will be able to get yourself a 93 overall for only 9200 snow excuse me so that's you know pretty much all there is with the zero chill promo and then another great way to make coins is by sniping players so if you go to the auction house so this is probably the best consistent way to make coins with the zero chill promo just by simply sniping these players so what you guys want to do is you guys just want to do program zero chill quality 80 to 81 and just try to snipe you know like this 81 overall zach cunningham and brashad perriman so look at the position so i see middle linebacker and i see wide receiver so what you guys can do is you guys can filter down by middle linebackers and then see just zach Cunningham, see if he goes down at all. Nope. Cheapest one is 5,000 coins. And then we can try Brashad Perriman. Let's go to wide receivers. Cheapest one is 5,000 coins. And then you guys can go up to 83s or 85 overalls. So just go to type all. First, you guys need to see how much they're going for. So just go program zero chill and then whatever overall you want to snipe. So if I just do quality 82 to 83, I see that they're going for about six. They're going for about 6,600 coins. I could probably sell them for about 6k, including tax. So if I can get these for under 6,000 coins, then that should be easy profit. So I see cornerbacks and I see center. So let's try centers and cornerbacks. So we'll do center and see if we can get any cheap ones. Oh, and then we can do cornerbacks. So you guys can do this with just any overalls. And I did not mean to click on free safety. You guys can do this with 85, 87, or 89 overalls. Sniping isn't really my thing, so I don't really like to snipe too much. But if you want, you guys could try to snipe these players and make some easy coins off of it. But those are the best ways to make coins. Like I said, make sure you guys take advantage on Christmas Day. Invest in players on Christmas Day. Wait a few days to sell them. And then make sure you guys take advantage when tier 15 comes out. If you go to chill, if you go to chill factor, look at chill factor rewards. Tier 11 through 15 is coming on Christmas Day, and when that comes out, you guys will get yourself a free nat out of or not free. You guys will get a yeah. You guys will get a free nat. Excuse me. You guys will get a free nat. Ghost of Madden, 92 to 94 overall player. Whoever you guys pull, put them into the set that they go into, and then whatever else you need to finish the set, buy them and then finish the set for cheap, and then sell whoever you guys get. It should be easy profit. You guys can do that with tier 22. When you guys reach tier 20, you guys will get another free 92 to 93 overall player. You guys can do the same thing with that. Whoever you guys pull, put them into the set that they go to, and make an easy profit.
So with the second method, we're gonna talk about these team builder sets. So the, the, these team builder sets have been my favorite method for a long time. It's still my favorite method, and you guys can make about five to 10K every five to 10 minutes, and this is a very consistent method. The funny thing is all three of these sets are profitable, and you guys can do this method with not that many coins too. So if you guys don't have a lot of coins, you're in luck. All of these sets, you guys don't need too many coins for. So this is the most expensive one. You're gonna need about 26 to 28K to finish the set, and then you guys will probably be able to get a player for about 35K, including tax. So you guys will make about 7 to 8k every time you finish this set and then with this set it's gonna cost you uh, let's see it would cost you probably around 13 to 14k and then you guys could probably find somebody that sells for 20k and make an easy 6 to 7k profit there and then this one this one will probably cost you around around probably like 10 to 12k and then you guys could probably find somebody that goes for like 18 to 20k and make an easy profit so we're gonna do the 88 overall one because this is my favorite set so we're gonna do the 88 overall one but you guys can do any of these sets all of these sets are profitable but the reason we're doing the 88 overall one is because this set will this these players will sell the fastest these players has the most hype around them so these 88 overall team builder players should sell decently fast but to complete this set you need two 80 to 82s two 83 to 84 and then 85 to 86 overall to complete the set. So first let's try to get the 80 to 81 overall. So I do quality 80 to 81 overall and I do program core elites. Well first thing I do is I find my budget. So I just do quality 80 to 81 and I look at the cheapest one. So I see that the cheapest one is going for about 3,000 coins. Alright so without filtering down the cheapest one is 3,000 coins. So what I do after that is I minus about 500 to 1,000 coins off of that. So we'll minus off 500. So 2,900 minus 500 is about 2,400 coins. So that'll be my budget. So my budget is 24 400 coins. So that's the first thing I do every single time I buy these players is I find what my, what is my budget going to be. So now what I do is I filter by core elites. So I do program core elite quality 80 to 81 and I'm going to try to find them for 2400 coins or less. So we're going to do type wide receiver. See if we can find any of them for 2400 coins or less. Here's one for 2200. We will definitely take this golden K right here. Now all we need is one more. You guys can do this method very fast if you guys can get lucky enough. If you guys get unlucky, it might take you guys a little bit longer, but usually you guys can finish this method really fast and finish the set pretty fast. So 2200, we'll take this one for 2200. Bam, we just got our two 80 to 81 overalls just like that. Now let's do quality 82 to 83. So quality 82 to 83 usually what i do with the quality 82 to 83 is i just filter by ultimate kickoff so we're just going to do program ultimate kickoff because with the ultimate kickoff promo this filters by just 83 overalls so we need 83 or 84 overalls so let's see if, can we find any cheap 83 overalls so here's one for 4350 coins so I just do quality 82 at 83, program ultimate kickoff, and I just buy the cheapest ones because all of these players are all 83 overalls. As you can see, all of these are 83 overalls. So you guys don't need to, you know, bother with scrolling down until you guys get the get to the 83 overalls. These are all 83 overalls. So I just buy the two cheapest 83 overalls I see, and that takes care of our two 83 to 84 overalls. Now with the 85 to 86 overalls, I do the same exact thing. I do quality 84 to 85, program ultimate kickoff. I just buy the two cheapest ones I see. So Everson Griffin, obviously you guys can try to go through some other position, try to dig around and just try to find these cheaper. And I did not mean to buy two. Why did I buy two of them? I, I don't know why I just bought two of them. I did not need to buy two. I only needed to buy one, but my bad. Well, that, I guess that takes care for the next time I do it. But that's pretty much how you guys do the method. Like I said, just get the 80 to 82 overalls, just filter down by a lot of different positions. I like to go by every single position. The only positions I avoid is the offensive lineman and tight ends, but I just do quality 80 to 81 program core lead and then just go by every single position besides offensive line or tight end until I find my budget. And then with the 83s and 85 overalls, I just go by ultimate kickoff and just buy the cheapest ones I see. Let's see how many coins we spent in total. So if you go to my bids, we can see that we spent, this was the first one I bought. So this was 12k plus 5k that's 17k plus 43.50 that's about 21k and then plus 4400 that's about 25k we spent about 25 we'll say 26k we'll round it up we'll say we spent about 26,000 coins to do this set now let's finish it so there we go we just finished the set now this is the final step of the method we're not done with the method yet the final step of the method is to find out which 88 overall team builder player is going for the most amount of coins that's the final step of the method 
So to find the most expensive 88 overall team builder player, you guys want to do quality 88 to 89 program team builders, and then go by a bunch of different positions and try to find the most expensive one. So we're gonna try we're gonna try all the offensive linemen. So I'm gonna try to find somebody that goes for at least 37k. Let's see if we can find somebody that goes for about 37k, and then I'm gonna check on the companion app and see how frequently they sell. So the companion app helps a lot because it tells you how frequently they sell and it tells you like when they last sold so like it says in the past you know one hour ago it sold for blah 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 and then two hours ago it sold for blah 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 so with that you guys can see how frequently they sell so you want to get a player that sells frequently and that sells for a lot of coins so we're gonna see if we can find somebody that goes for 37k if not we'll just take somebody that goes for 36k but no matter what we only spent 26k on method here all right we have a zach allen that goes for 37,850. so let me check on the companion app and see if he actually sells for that much all right, so he has sold for about 37k about seven times in the past three hours. So that is pretty frequently. So we are going to pick him and then try to sell him for about 37,000 coins. Remember, we only spent about 26k. So if we sell him for 37k, including tax, that'll be about 34k, which means we'll make about 7k profit. And this, like I said, only took about five to 10 minutes to do. We made an easy 7,000 coin profit. So there's Zach Allen right there. We're gonna put him up for 37,000 coins. What I recommend you guys do is, is I recommend you just put him up for the price you want for about eight hours so we're just gonna put him up for eight hours put him up for 37k if he doesn't sell within that time frame then we'll obviously lower him a little bit but if he sells that should be an easy 7k profit and then we'll just do that same method over and over again and you know make an easy about 5 to 10k every 5 to 10 minutes one of my favorite method and you guys can do this with the 86 overall team bow set or with the 84 overall team bow set 88 overall is my favorite though so that is the second method the team bowler method so with the third method, we're going to talk about the get a player method. So I'm going to try to make this short and sweet because I know a lot of people know about this get a player method, but this method has actually been pretty hot lately. I mean, I don't usually put this method in my videos because I personally don't think it's worth it, but this get a player pack has been pretty good recently and you guys can pull a decent amount of players from this and it's only 500 coins. So it's a great method if you guys don't have a lot of coins. The reason why I didn't like this method before is because I didn't feel like it, I like I, I would spend like an hour here and I would only make like 20k I didn't feel like it was worth spending like an hour to make 20k but now you would make a lot more coins so right now obviously we're just pulling silvers because I'm recording but I've actually pulled a decent amount of leads from these sets but if you pull a silver you just want to put them into the next exchange set so if you pull a rookie make sure you guys do not accidentally put them into the rookie exchange set so if you ever pull a silver just put them into the next exchange set all right so can we please stop pulling silvers I want give me at least a gold can you please give me at least a gold player and here we go we pull a gold 71 overall rg3 so with the 71 overall there's a couple things you guys can do you guys can put them into the next gold exchange set or you guys can put them into the superstar mvp player i recommend you put them into the superstar mvp player and then i'll tell you guys what to do once you guys finish that set so here we pull a harvest player we pull an 81 job well i don't even know how to say his name but let's see we're going to put them we're going to put them into the actually if you guys pull an 80 to 82 overall i recommend you put them into the 84 overall team builder fantasy pack so we're going to put them and we're going to put him into that pack right there so we're going to try to finish the team builder pack just by simply doing the get a player method so there we go that's my team builder from the team builder method before but let's open up a few more of these get a player packs so we're just going to try to finish here we pull a superstar mvp player we pull an 80 we pull a back-to-back -back elite so we're going to put this player once again we're going to put him into the 84 overall team builder fantasy packs and this is a very easy method like that you just open up these get a player packs and put your 70 to 74 overalls into the superstar mvp set and then if you pull a 75 or a 76 overall here we pull another superstar mvp player a 78 overall so if you pull a 77 a 78 or a 79 overall player you're going to want to put them into the team builder player so here we're going to put them into the team builder set where is it did i go buy it and yes it's right here 84 overall team builder set with the 77 to 79 overalls, you want to put them into the team build set. If you pull a 75 or a 76 overall, you want to put them into the 80 to 82 overall lead exchange set because the core 80 to 82 core lead exchange set, you actually have a chance to pull some good players in there. Like there's an 82 overall Eddie Jackson that sells for about 20,000 coins. So you guys could pull an Eddie Jackson. You guys could pull a Marshawn Lattimore. There's a lot of good elites. That, there's a lot of good elites because of the snow beast that's made those players go up in price. So if you pull like an 82 overall Eddie Jackson or a Marshawn Lattimore they go for about 10 to 20k here we pull another super we pull an 80 overall Jesse Bates so now if we go to add the sets and then you go to 84 overall team builder player you guys can see it's grayed out because you guys can only put two 80 to 82 overall players at a time so if, if it's grayed out then you just want to sell this player so we're just going to put them up for 
We're gonna put him up for 2,600 coins and see if he sells. That's an easy 2K profit right there. So this is why I love the great get a player method right now. Great method, especially for those of you who don't have a lot of coins. If you have any questions about this method, be sure to comment down in the comment section below. So if you look at this 84 overall team builder fantasy pack, then you need a 6, 77 to 79 overall players, and then you need 2, 80 to 82 overall players. So this is why I said only put your 77 to 79 overall players into this set. If you pull a 75 or a 76 overall player, put them into the 80 to 82 overall elite exchange set. And if you pull a 70 to 74 overall player, put them into the core elite exchange set. So if you look at player exchange, this 80 to 82 overall elite exchange set, you have a chance to pull some expensive players from this set. And then if you pull any silvers, put them into the next exchange set. Like I said, that's how I do the get a player method. That's just me personally. There's probably a lot of better ways to do it from other YouTubers. But that's just how I personally do it. I try to complete the 84 overall team builder fantasy pack, but no matter what, get a player method is still great. We pulled like what? We pulled three elites from opening it about 10 times. So it's great elite ratio i pulled a lot of elites from the get a player method and you guys can potentially make a lot of profit from it and i do apologize but while editing this video i saw that i said to put your 70 to 74 balls into this 80 to 82 overall core elite exchange set well you cannot put your 70 to 74 balls what i meant is put your 75 and your 76 overalls into this set but with your 70 to 74 balls you guys want to put them into the superstar set so if you pull a 70 to 74 ball put them into the 76 to 78 gold superstar mvp player and then if you pull a 76 overall put them into the 80 to 82 overall and then if you pull a 77 or a 78 overall you're going to want to put them into the 84 overall team builder set so i do apologize for that my mistake and then with the fourth method, I'm going to show you guys how to complete the Mutt Master Series 3 objective list as fast as possible. Series 3 will probably be ending soon. Like I said, if I had to make a prediction, if I have to make a prediction on when Series 3 is going to end, I would have to say probably the week after Christmas. So you guys don't have that much time to complete all of these objective lists. So you guys can still complete these objective lists after Series 3 ends. It just won't give you 120k. It'll only give you guys like 30k i think so you guys will be losing out on about 90 to 100k if you guys don't complete these objectives within series 3 so i highly recommend you guys try to finish these i'm gonna show you guys how to finish the objectives as fast as possible so with the 1500 team tackles there's not really any fast way to do it i recommend you guys just do it you know regularly just play games and just try to focus on your team tackles while you're just playing the games but if you guys want to sheerly focus on tackles then just do these legend release challenges these legend release challenges are full games so just make sure you guys are on defense the whole time and just try to get your team tackles done this way because with these legend release challenges you guys will also get a power up once you guys finish the challenge and you guys can sell the power up for coins so you guys will get coins and you guys will also be able to complete your mutt master series 3 objective list so like if you guys look back at like week six you guys can do this Dion sanders challenge and then once you guys you know you guys can get probably arguably arguably about 40 to 50 tackles done in this game and then you guys will also get Dion sanders power up at the end of the game so you guys will easily be able to get coins and you guys will also be able to get your team tackles done while doing these legend release challenges make, just make sure you guys are on defense the whole time and make sure i, I just do cover three sky when i try to do the tackle side where they throw the flat routes and then just make sure you guys top, tackle them inbounds about 1500 times it's going to take a while but if you guys do it that way it's going to be a lot quicker so now for the sacks with sam mills like with, with the tackles I recommend you just do it over time but if you want to focus on it do the legend release challenges but i recommend you just do it over time i know you're running out of time but if you guys want to hurry then you guys can do the sacks but with the with the sacks with sam mills if we with first thing you guys want to do with the sacks with sam mills is you guys want to make sure sam mills is at your right outside linebacker so what you guys want to do is you guys want to take sam mills out of your middle linebacker so we're just going to put my number three we're just going to put patrick queen right here and then we're going to go to right outside linebacker and put sam mills there so there we go we have sam mills as our right outside linebacker so this is the first step to get your sacks with sam mills done make sure you start your right outside linebacker and this is my team for those of you who are wondering and yes i am no money spent believe it or not people are asking how am i no money spent i have you know five, almost five million coins and i have a 93 overall team well i grind a lot and the, i have farm accounts farm accounts is a great way to make coins if you guys are no money spent so if you guys are no money spent you guys are looking to make coins or get a better team in general get farm accounts you're pretty much just making a whole nother account and then transferring whatever you guys get from the farm accounts onto your main account it's a great way to level up your no money spent team and to get a bunch of coins but anyways after you guys have samples as your right outside backer then you guys want to do rivals you guys want to do recruit your team captain and then you guys want to do tryouts dt Leroy glover 
So now once you guys load into the game, you guys want to go into formation, special team, pump block, 44, even, 8 up, safe man. Every playbook should have this. I am in the Dolphins playbook for those who are wondering. Then what you guys want to do is right when they hack the ball, you guys want to hold R2 if you guys are on PlayStation. Or if you guys are on Xbox, you guys want to hold right trigger right when they hack the ball and come right. You guys can see I shredded the left tackle, just went right by him and got the easy stack. It doesn't matter if they fumble as long as you guys sack him. You guys will get it done. It'll count as a stack. Should only take you guys like 20 minutes to get your 45 stacks of same As long as you guys just do this over and over again. Once again, 8 up safe, man. Right when they hack the ball, hold R2 if you're on PlayStation and hold the right trigger if you're on Xbox. And if Samuels isn't lined up here, then he must not be our right, right outside linebacker. Make sure Samuels is at your right outside linebacker if he is not lined up right there. And then bam, sack him. That should count as a sack. And that's how you guys get your sack with Samuels done. And with your tackles, like I said, just get them gradually or you guys can get them through the legend release challenges but that's how you guys complete the series to your list as fast as possible hope you guys did enjoy this video if this video did help you out please do like and comment so this helped me discover more on youtube and if you have any questions be sure to comment down in the comment section below if you guys are new please do subscribe and press the bell so that way you get notified whenever i upload and it would also help out the channel a lot thank you guys so much for watching merry christmas eve eve happy holidays hope you guys are enjoying your christmas break peace Oh,